Well, a second emergency field hospitals now open at UMMC with the help of from Samaritan's Purse. 12 News Anna Farish is live inside the ICU ward of this hospital. Anna, how is this different than the one they opened last week? There's 32 beds in total. I'm currently standing in the ICU ward where there's only five. Now down at the DMAT site, there's about 20 different beds and they have the monoclonal antibody testing. Now, according to Samaritan's Purse, they have about 53 staff members on site to help treat COVID-19 patients. The state and MEMA say they're expecting even more aid. Doctors and nurses and various medical staff from across the country are expected to arrive in the near future with record-breaking COVID case numbers. Health leaders are urging people to use the resources available to them and put an end to the Delta variant. Dr. Lou Ann Woodward says we failed as a state in that area. Those with Samaritan's Purse also pled with Christians to do the right thing. We uh, will serve everyone in this community. Uh, whoever that individual is is sick. The hospital will tell us and pass that patient to us and we will give them the best care. We have an unbelievable staff that come from all over the country. But our Donors, the people that support, uh, support Samaritan's Purse do this because they want to love their neighbor. It's the story of the Good Samaritan. Don't pass by anyone that's suffering. Again, these hospitals are designed for overseas use. We never thought we'd be doing this in the U.S. But our neighbors here in Mississippi have called and asked for it, and we've responded. We have capacity. I believe God expects us to use it to include here in the U.S. This can still be called the pandemic of the unvaccinated. State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs says 85% of the state's deaths are people who aren't vaccinated. Now, although state health leaders are and hospital health leaders are relieved to get some of the Samaritan's Purse members down here to help treat COVID-19 patients, they say Mississippi needs to do better. Live at UMMC, Anna Farish, 12 News.